All right, folks, just a quick video just to let you know what, which, which of my cards I still support and where you can get them and which ones I don't support. So every card you see on the screen right now is a currently supported card that I will do firmware updates for if there is a bug that you find. So if you find a bug in the 536, if you find a bug, I'm not actively developing it. I think it's pretty close to done. But if you find a bug, if we can reproduce it, I will fix it. Same with the TF328. If there's an actual bug still in that, I'll fix it. 330, exactly the same. And the firmware bugs, uh, well, this guy isn't widely out, but there are a few people who have it. The 360. Again, if there's bugs, I will fix it. If I can. <laughs> Time permitting, uh, you know. Um, uh, TF uh, 1230. Uh, actually, this one is still in development. Uh, this, this one, this one. They, these two are still in development. Uh, this, this is the kind of not inactive development corner. So these guys, uh, well, this one might be come back to life again. But uh, this is the the, the CD thirty two visor. But um, these three for sure are not actively being developed. I'm, like, I'm not sitting down at the bench on a, on a and, and trying to achieve something. I have no goals. There's no bugs that I'm aware of that need to be fixed. There's a few glitches with this, but I'm sort of letting the dust settle and people figure out what's software and what's, uh, what's, what's bugs, but I haven't had any major complaints about this one for a while. But please let me know if you disagree with that. You know, leave a, leave a, a message in the comment down below. Um, TF1260, this is an active development. Uh, these two are in active development. They're constantly being worked on, constantly being improved. There will be updates for both this and this in the next year for sure. Um, similarly, with the um, the repro for the arcade, I am actively working on that. The TF1260, I am actively working on that. And the TFMSX, I am actively working on that. All of these designs, original from scratch by me, except this one. I did copy this one. Um, I don't know if you, some of you guys remember um, what happened with this one, but uh, I, 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 I started this one on a Friday night one on cam, and over the weekend I did this uh, whole card and sent it off to the board house on Sunday. Uh, so I did do, actually do some um, some stealing for that one, and I gave the credits where I the credits were due. But the layout and um, eventually the, the firmware was rewritten because the firmware that I stole was not very good. But um, yeah, um, all of these guys. Um, people have said, "Have you? Where did you? Where did you get your ideas from? Have you stolen them from other people? You must have looked at other people's." Said, Honestly, the application notes from Motorola have everything you need in them. Right, the uh, Motorola. Oh, oh, the 060 handbook has everything you need for the 060s. It's well, sorry, it's the 040 handbook, but it has everything you need for the 060s. Uh, the MSX I did pretty much. Um, well, it's the specification. You know, you just read the specification and then you you, you develop a circuit. Um, you know, there's an MSX specification for how these systems are supposed to be interconnected, and then you know. Um, if I was to say, if I was to say I got my got information for how stuff worked from anywhere other than the application notes, it would be from WinUAE and FMSX. You know, I, I tend to rely on, on emulators for telling me how the system is supposed to interact. Um, things like clock domain crossing, I've got my own techniques for doing it and they're completely different from everybody else's and it's, and it's, it's obvious. So the guy who turns up on here <laughs> morning that I've, I've copied George Brown. I think he's Zarchos. He just sounds like Zarchos and he's just trying to wind me up. So, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so the cards that I don't support anymore. Let's put them over here and let's put them on screen. So be clear, these I do not support and I will, and I will tell you for why. Let me move these other guys out of the way and we'll have a chat about them and the reasons for them and um, TF520 
TFI 30, TFI 34. Reasons. Uh, no RAM on that. It's basically a complete and utter pointless design. It was a very original. It was my very first prototype. It was just. I mean, if if I was copying anybody on at any point, it might have been this one. I might have looked at the pack design a wee bit just to kind of get my head around how this whole thing would work. Um, it's it's barely worth doing anything with. So I'm not. I'm not developing it. I'm not fixing any bugs. This one is a pile of crap, and this one is a pile of crap. They use the similar techniques for clock domain crossing to almost every other one. Um, whereas most every other card you'll ever come across. Whereas once we get to um, the 12th, once you get to something like this, we're doing a completely different. Nobody else does stuff the way I do it in this. Nobody else has switches the, the CPU frequency down to 14 megahertz. Or, tw or 7 megahertz when we're accessing um, the motherboard nobody else recreates use, recreates the clock using the PLL system the way I do it nobody else does it so it's very distinct so it's pretty obvious I'm not copying anybody <laughs> it's, it's, it's ludicrous actually nobody else does what I do in terms of clock domain crossing I, I, I think it might be in the Florica so they might have used it I don't know if they're still using it this is a two-layer board, and it's very unstable, and it won't go really much past. Um, it's not very good. It's not a very good design, um, but I was learning. Uh, this one is the one I see people more and more you're building because it's quite simple and because it has an FPU. Don't build it with an FPU. FPUs are worthless on an Amiga. They're really pointless. I mean, I literally played. I literally had an oscilloscope watching for activity on the FPU. And there was hardly any. Like I can could use workbench, play games, all sorts of stuff, except for specific games that need it. Not worth it. Um, I'm not actively developing this anymore because it, the whole design, this the whole idea was I replaced this design with something cheaper, simpler, and with much more RAM. The biggest complaint about this was there wasn't enough RAM. This is much cheaper to build. Uh, it can be pre assembled It was the it was designed to be pre-assembled. There was this this particular version doesn't have the buff bus buffers on. It's an earlier version, but there's a version that have has bus buffers. It was really designed to be a really good 500 card, really cheap, and it does the clock domain crossing stuff that I did on the CD32 to start with. So that's it. These are the only three cards that I have that I don't support, right? Because they're end of the road and they can't be developed anymore, and they've got bugs in them. And the whole idea was, was that this supersedes them and it's cheaper. Okay, so only those things. Now, if you're looking for support, go to the Exos forum, right? It looks like an Atari forum when you first sign in there, but I am there. I will answer your questions if they've not already been answered a hundred million times. If it's a bug and we can reproduce the bug and it's not a software bug that's known as a software bug, I will take a crack at it. I might not take out a crack at it next week, but I'll take a crack at it. I'll put it in the back of my mind. I'll say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like a dog with a bone with bugs. I, if somebody tells me there's a bug, you know, I might go, ah, I'm not going to fix it, right? But I actually probably will eventually. I'll get round to it. I'll set up something on a bench. I have this bench now dedicated specifically for doing bug testing. Um, and the other bench set up for doing like forward development. This is testing and just getting stuff set up quickly so I don't have to have separate I don't have to I can have things set up in separate spaces separate machines I don't have I can have a CD32 through here and a 4000 here so these guys all of these guys every one of them is in current support these are in active development sort of this one is coming to the end of its active development um, I would say this one is pretty stable I'm quite happy with this one but the rest of them, you know, like if, but any one of them, I will fix a bug. And if it's an easy bug to fix, like if it's something like clearly obvious, like, oh, this is a latch and this specific case is repeatable. But what I find with this one is it's just generally an unstable design. And I've been there for that one. So the whole point of the exercise was, of doing this one was to fix the deficiencies in that one. So please buy a 536, not a 
not a 534. 534s are awful. Or go and, if you really want an FPU and all that, go and buy an expensive card, because that's... I don't want to be adding features for people who don't need them, and, and FP, people don't need FPUs. Um, I, I, I don't think the majority of people need an FPU on a 500. 1200s, and when you're getting into the demo scenes, and if you wanted to, maybe we wanted to put a, a 500 on a, a, an 060 and a 500, bit daft, bit over the top, I think, but I could see the point then, because you're accessing some of the demos, the 060 demos. But the O30 plus the FPU stuff, there's a limited niche there. And I don't think you get much for your money out of that. So anyway, that's that's just all I wanted to say. I wanted to say about who, you know, what, what was supported, where you get support. So what's supported is this. What's not supported is this. Where do you get support? Exos Forum. And just post in the right section if it's... I probably need to tidy up the forum topics, but I'll move your, you know, just post, post your issue, post, how did you get your issue? No, don't just post, I can't get it to work. Say, you know, it's a 500, it's got this card, it's, I'm, you know, I'm using classic workbench, 3.1, blah, blah, blah. Um, what I would say is try and test it with the most basic setup. You can eliminate things like, it's custom ROMs, eliminate custom ROMs, eliminate weird workbench setups try and do it with as vanilla a setup as possible because that's going to help me when i'm coming to test because i don't have your specific workbench setup okay other than that i'm happy to take a crack at anybody's bug right time permitting i'm only one guy and there's a lot of cards okay so if you guys can set me up get me set up with a really simple solution and i can see it and if i can get it on the bench like anything with anything here i can put in a logic analyzer and i can see bugs pretty quickly and if I can see a bug, I can probably fix it. I know there are bugs here that I cannot fix. And it's it's not nice, but that's the way it is. So, again, these are supported. These are not Exos Forum, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a good one.